To be honest, when I first saw concept art of this Vocaloid, I thought it was cute, but a little too strange to be used as an actual character. I would be proven wrong on April 6, 2012, when Aoki Lapis was released. She was released by iStyle Project, which is a group formed by a Japanese search engine, an animation studio, and Nico Nico users. In September 2011, a contest was held to find a voice provider for this new Vocaloid, and her first demo was released in November, with the voice provider Eguichi Nako. Aoki Lapis is meant to be a different kind of Vocaloid than the mainstream Japanese Vocaloids in her voice and her characterization. Her voice is softer and more breathy, with a slight lisp, and in fact her intended genre is a new one the developers made up for her lifestyle music. As for her appearance, her official bio lists her height, 15 centimeters. That's not a misprint. Lapis is actually a fairy, which explains her cute high voice. She is meant to be easy to use for amateurs and users new to Vocaloid, but that doesn't mean her voice bank is low quality. She has some great songs.
V3 Megpoid and Megpoid Native have been a pretty big success for Internet Co. And they had also been working on V3 updates and new voice banks for their other Vocaloids. Lily was the first of their other Vocaloids to receive this treatment, giving us V3 Lily. Released April 19, 2012, V3 Lily actually contains two voice banks. One, simply titled V3 Lily, is a re-recording of Lily's original voice bank, which makes her voice bank sound more like her voice provider and gives her an even broader range than her original voice bank. Her new voice bank sounds quite different from her original, however, which is why V3 Lily includes a second voice bank, Lily Native. Like Megpoid Native, Lily Native is essentially her original voice bank tweaked and updated to the Vocaloid 3 standard, with new voice data included where necessary. Having the two voice banks in the same package allows V3 Lily users to choose between using her old voice or her new one without having to use the older Vocaloid 2 engine. In 2011, a contest was held to find the right design for a new Vocaloid, one which had been asked for for a long time. That contest ended January 3rd, 2012, and after a couple months of finicking, a new Vocaloid character was born. But who was she? And what was the contest for? The contest was called Vocaloid China. A female Chinese singer named Shan Xin lent her voice to China's first Vocaloid, Luo Qianyi. She is the first of a planned series of Chinese Vocaloids, the rest of which are in production at the moment. Her voice provider is bilingual in Chinese and Japanese, and has given interviews with Japanese reporters. Qianyi is intended to receive a Japanese voice bank in addition to her Chinese voice bank in the future. Qianyi was produced by B Platts, the same company which produced VOI1 and VOI2. She has a young, upbeat voice, which is good for energetic songs. But some Chinese listeners have complained about her pronunciation and accent, and she is extremely difficult to use to sing in languages other than Chinese. In addition to being the first Chinese Vocaloid, Qianyi was the first Vocaloid to have her own animated series. They are short, promotional videos that star Qianyi and other Vocaloids, as well as other characters created from submissions to the Vocaloid China contest. Some of those designs are being turned into Vocaloids, while others seem to simply be characters that will be used in promotional material. Qianyi is sometimes depicted as having wing-like features behind her. 
That is because her official bio states that she is an angel who has trouble communicating with humans but has come to Earth to share her songs with us. While Megpoid Extend was in development, people expected Gakpoid to receive the same treatment. When the Extend program was scrapped, Gakpo's fate was uncertain, but Internet Co. eventually confirmed that Gakpo would be updated just like Gumi. V3 Gakpoid was released July 13, 2012. V3 Gakpo consists of three new voice banks. He of course has a native voice bank, which is an update of his original voice bank. But like Gumi, Gakpo has received two new voice banks called Whisper and Power. Unfortunately for Gakpo fans, Internet Co. has stated that they have no current plans to release more voice banks for him, limiting Gakpo to these three voice banks for the Vocaloid 3 engine, where Gumi has five voice banks. <laughs> Yo, 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 yo,
るから波を犠牲にしても変化を取る何もかも変えずにことの母にも手紙にかけず Just enough time left to touch on another very unique Vocaloid. In November 2011, Vocaloid Shop began a contest for people to submit the best Vocaloid songs they could make with certain Vocaloid 3 voice banks. The original deadline for the contest was in March 2012, but the deadline was later extended to June, and with this extension came some new prizes that could be won. One of these new prizes was called an unnamed exclusive voice bank. When the contest ended, Almost 700 people were awarded this particular prize, an exclusive download only Vocaloid from Internet Co. named Galico. There are no plans to sell Galico commercially, which means that only the people who received her in the contest can use her. Her voice was designed to be used for ballad type songs, but she has received complaints that her voice is on the flat side. As for Galico's software, it has a unique trait. Because she was only available as a contest prize, her voice bank does not include the Vocaloid 3 software itself. This means that in order to utilize her, a separate Vocaloid 3 voice bank must already be installed. While this is not an issue for the people who won Galico, as they obviously needed a Vocaloid 3 package to enter the contest in the first place, this does mark the first time a Vocaloid has required owning a separate, unrelated character in order to be utilized. 